Now this is the Montana. We are right off River Valley Road along Jalan Mutiara. The Montana was a freehold development that has TOP in the year 2002. Today we're heading up to a three-bedroom, fabulously renovated penthouse. There's duplex and the more renovation that's went to this place is simply fabulous. We think that you're gonna love this place. So why don't you follow us on our home tour? Let's go. Pardon me in my tone. You can't step to my throne. Like so Jalan Mutiara is on a slight elevated hilltop which is along the River Valley Road. This project was completed in 2002. There are 108 units available right here. It starts from the one bedroom, one plus study, and then there are two bedroom layout, two plus study, three bed and four bed layouts. But for penthouses, there are only four of them which are above the 2,200 square feet. So four penthouses sitting right on top of the entire development. Most importantly is that we have to have a look at this view first. This is pretty much one of the last few unblocked views that you can get in the Orchard vicinity. Right now, Montana is sitting on the D10 enclave and D10 and D9 are pretty much at the brim of each other right here. So if I were to bring out the street directory map, we are actually diagonally across Great World City. Everyone that's living around the Great World City precinct, they're all waiting for the Thompson East Coast Line to be completed and there's the underground MRT station. And it is only one station to Orchard Ion. And this is going to be one of the most connected lines that links Orchard towards Marina Bay Sands, towards the CBD. So I think once that is done, the connectivity right here for all the residents are going to be fantastic. I'm sure the whole world who I am. Back to why Great World City is situated in a very interesting district segregation is because anything that is on the right hand side of Kim Seng Road, that's District 9. To the left hand side of Kim Seng Road, that's where District 10 is located and Montana is in District 10. At the bottom part of Great World City, that would be the commencement of District 3. So a total of $450,000 has been pumped into the renovations. The whole entire layout has been redesigned because we are located at stack number 3 at the Montana. So let me just give you an orientation of what is happening from level 1 all the way to level 12. So from level 1 to 8 of stack 3, this is actually a 2-bed, 1-bath model. And from level 9 to 11, that is actually a 4-bedroom model which comprises of 1,353 square feet. Level 1 floor plate gives you a 1,460 square feet approximate. Level 2 at the roof terrace, that gives you an 800 square feet approximate. So in totality, you have 2,260 square feet pumped into this 3-bedroom duplex pan. House. Now, why is it currently a three-bedroom? That's because this was our seller's preference. They have decided to remod to make it into a very functional lifestyle form of interior design. So later, as Jesse brings you through the detail walkthrough, you'll realize that the amount of detail that has been pumped into the interior renovation design has been done in a very timeless fashion. These are all meticulously designed right from day one. And of course, when you buy a luxurious pre-designed home like this, you don't have to spend that amount of time and headache and work to meet up with your ID for three to six months looking at the work and progress. In the meantime, let me pass you to Jesse who will do a detailed walkthrough with you. So, Jesse. To your house you will be greeted into the foyer so over here the main door has already been installed with a samsung digital lock at this corner is where you can find all your light switches as well as the telecom if your guests are coming in to visit you and then behind me you have a nicely built-in shoe cabinet together with a bronze tinted mirror so you can put in all your shoes as well as to check your ootd out before you head out should you require more storages there is a full height tree panel this is a folding door for for you to put in all your boxes, your luggages, as well as the bulky stuff. So just from the foyer, you can see that the interior is done in a very modern and consistent interior design. So take a look at the fourth ceiling. It has been nicely done throughout all the way into your living room as well. 
coming into your living room, you will see that the flooring is done with marble look-alike Italian porcelain tiles that comes with a very nice texture. So when you come for a physical viewing, you can actually touch and feel the material to feel how good it is. The living room is of a huge size. And the greatest thing about this place here is that it's all nicely flush with glass panels. So even if you were to turn off all the lights, you still have a lot of daylight coming in. The space here is huge enough for you to put an 8-seater or even up to a 10-seater. You can have a long sofa like what they did here or even change it into L-shaped sofa. You still have ample space for you to put your OSIM massage chair and still have a good distance to your TV console. So just take a look at the what they did here. Look at how big this is. This is about 1.5 meter long for the TV and right behind they have already nicely installed a very beautiful feature wall. So everything is still new and in pristine condition so you can just move in and spend minimal on renovation. So if you're looking to have a balcony in your condo development yet you don't want the space to be eating too much into the balcony, I think this is the perfect combination. So you have enough space for you to put an outdoor set for you to chill and unwind. And as we all know in the D9, D10 orchard area, everything is very dense and there's a lot of condo development that's going on for you to enjoy such a beautiful skyline. Take a look, this Chinese temple looking that's tanks. You can even see the Ion residences as well as Ni'an City. I think for you to enjoy this view is really a rare sight to behold. Right behind the living room is where you can find your dining area. Currently, it can be seated up to 8 people for you to host your family and friends. And they have also cleverly designed such that you have additional storage behind. This table over here, it's made from premium quartz top and imported from Italy. Take a look at the beautiful backsplash that we have here. A lot of details and effort has been done into the interior design that is consistent throughout the entire home. Right behind me is the powder room. Initially, this was blocked off and for your guests to use the bathroom, they will need to enter from the kitchen. So the owners have tilted the other way around such that the access point is right over here for easy convenience for your guests. The entire design is consistent with the cabinet right outside. So you can see here the whole wall is done with the same consistent backsplash. Italian porcelain tiles has been done for the flooring. This customized wash basin also comes with an additional hidden storage for you to put in toiletries. Now let's come to the perfect combination of having a kitchen inside the living room. This is the dry kitchen area. Over here, they have already placed in a movable island table. This counter quartz top is made from the same Italy pattern that we have seen it before. And the best part about this kitchen island is it's totally movable. So if you require more space behind your living room, just feel free to push it all the way to the other side. Right behind, you also have a hidden storage that acts as as a dry kitchen area. I think this is the perfect spot for you to have breakfast with your kids before they go to school. You can make some bread, make some coffee, and just chill and relax while enjoying the beautiful skyline. There's also a built-in cabinetry with wooden laminate and it comes with a self-closing system as well. So I think you don't need to worry for long because they are sure to last for quite a while. Kitchen backsplash has been done nicely with a grey tinted mirror. So everything here can be hidden nicely with a moving panel. So although there is no utility or storeroom, they have cleverly installed all the storages that you need into all these hidden cabinetry so that you can fully maximize the entire layout of this unit. So for those who love to cook here, not to worry, there is a glass sliding door that can help to separate and prevent the fumes from going into the living space. You can see here the entire kitchen is done in a similar pattern with the same backsplash. Countertop is also from the same pattern. You can find your stove induction hook as well as your oven or from the bread eaker. So on the left hand side is where you can find your wash basin. This is a dual sink type. 
What is this? Soap dispenser. I thought this was a water dispenser. This is so interesting. So your soap dispenser has been nicely hidden right beside the wash basin itself. Additional storage has been done nicely. This is where you can dry your dishes. And if you need more storages, it is all the way at the back and you can just easily push it up with a lid. With a cup. It's not that easy, Hon. <laughs> You can find additional storage all the way on to the top So lucky I'm tall enough I think Mark can reach this too Maybe Christina will need a ladder for this oh no. Oh no. At this corner here is where you can find your built-in microwave There's also a dedicated space for your fridge Now let's move to the yard area They have converted the utility, the yard as well as the helper room All into this nicely compact area at this space is where you can nicely hide your washer come dryer as well as to fit in all your laundry needs so i think this is the great combination of the yard the dry kitchen as well as the wet kitchen now let me bring you to the first common bedroom the owners have converted it into a guest room and they have installed this three panel glass sliding door for this current layout over here the ac has been installed you can find a wall mounted tv behind as well as storage at the corner over here so i think with this compact room that you have it's very easy for you to change into a fully functional bedroom you can fit in a super single bed you can have your study desk as well as additional wardrobe space for you to put in all your clothes should you require to change this back into the partition, we do have the coats ready for you. So before I show you the other bedrooms, let me show you this thing, so cool. So the idea is that if the kids are going to be sleeping and you need to host your family and friends, you can still do so. This is the most special ensuite over here. Just take a look at the whole height. I think you have a very generous four to five meter. Therefore, the owners have built in a furniture deck on the first floor is where you can find your study desk as well as storages for the kids to put in the assessment book. And over here behind, you have a mirror plus a wardrobe space for them to put in all their clothes. And right over here, you have additional wardrobe spaces as well. So not to worry, I think you have plenty of space to go around. Even if you want to change this into a double bunk, I think there's enough storage for both your kids to be even sleeping here. So this ensuite bathroom was originally the space for a common bedroom, but they have converted two bedrooms into one to have this very nice ensuite. The floor is done with marble look-alike porcelain tiles. You can see here, even the flushing system is made from gabbard so it's nicely instilled into the wall everything is still in nice and pristine condition over here you can find your countertop this is a very nice premium quartz right behind you have a four panel ventilation window and the smart thing is that how did they install this if behind is the window so they have nicely mounted onto the top as well as the wall here for them to have a mirror cabinet so in this wet area you have a glass panel together with a swing door inside you can find your shower head as well as rain shower all in good and pristine condition now i'm gonna bring you to the master bedroom look at this view this is the most premium view you can enjoy for our district night and given the amount of space over here you can put in your king size bed they have even built in additional storages at the back and they also added in a very nice strip of lighting so imagine at night i think it's gonna be a beautiful and romantic ambience now this entire whole stretch of wardrobe here spans about four to five meters so this is where you can put in all the clothes that you have currently they have allocated a space for their tv console so the best thing is that this system allows you to customize the height as well as what you want to fit in for your wardrobe you can fit in shelves as well as the racking system it's all up to you to customize so from the balcony, you can see that they installed this retractable awning system so you do not need to worry, let's say if it's raining or you have a very hot weather. 
So I think on this level, privacy is not going to be an issue because the most immediate neighbor that you have here is still so far away and that is in Spring Grove. So if you feel like the daylight is too strong, the blinds have already been installed for you. Let me bring you to one of the most incredible bathroom I have seen recently. This is a hotel-like bathroom over here. Look at the bathtub. This is a full bathtub that you can enjoy. I think it's very smart for them to put a glass partition. So imagine you can just soak here, relax, open up your wardrobe and still enjoy your TV while being here. So right behind me is where you can find your vanity tabletop. The quartz is of the similar material that we mentioned as before. So right behind is where you can find some panels of windows. So they have moved the entire vanity top more to the front. And they have also built in some mirrors with hidden storage for you to put in additional toiletries if you need to do so. This wall that you see here is imported from Italy and this is a marble look-alike porcelain tiles that comes with a very interesting texture so you can actually feel how great it is when you come for viewing. Gabarite flashing system has been installed and nicely blend into the walls behind here. This is where you can find your wet area. It has been nicely curved up and partitioned with a glass panel. Inside is where you can find your faucet as well as a tiny little shelf for you to put in your shampoos and body wash. So now I'm gonna pass the time to Melvin who will be sharing a little bit more on the pricing analysis in this particular district. All right, so quick fun fact. When you buy a penthouse, there are different types of stairwell location. This penthouse have an internal stairwell which looks like this. Some other types of penthouses, they have their staircase that's being located on the external balcony itself. So once again, it's based on your preference of what type of penthouses are you looking at. And before I show you this fantastically renovated roof deck, I want to talk about the first part of this home tour where we mentioned that this has been remodeled into a three-bedroom penthouse instead of a four-bedder. So what happens is that on 11, three that is right below us that is a four bedroom with a layout that's exactly similar to 1203 so let me take out the two floor plans side by side the key difference between these two floor plans is that our penthouse have a slightly larger balcony that stretches from the living room to our master bedroom and of course at 1103 which is the original four bedroom they do not have such an elongated balcony thereby explaining the difference of why is this 1323 square feet and why is ours level one floor plate 1460 square feet but if you were to look at the two floor plans in detail, the other modification that our owners has done is that they have removed that fourth bedroom from the top right hand corner and redesigned that into a huge dining space. Now, if you want to reinstate that fourth bedroom, we have our quotation that is already ready for you and you can easily glass out that area into your proper bedroom. That can be done as well. Now coming back to this roof terrace, I want to start off with this part right here. What's important for a penthouse is that the combination of wood deck finishes on the ground plus carpeted flooring is extremely important because that gives you a nice lush feel and artificial turf usually they last for 6 to 10 years depending on the quality that you get but these are all easily available most importantly is that this is great to go this is in great shape our owners has maintained it very well for the past years I want to bring you to this part here so you can have a very good chill out session here because just have a look at this beautifully done U-shaped outdoor lounge of course, the movable items are not included. Whatever our fittings and fixtures, they will be left for the next homeowner. And if you like certain items right here, these are all available to discuss when you come for a physical viewing. Most importantly, this entire island with its own sink is pre-built with a connected dining table that is real solid. These are nice solid stone finishes and you can fit easily up to an eight-seater. Right now, there are six outdoor chairs available. So you can just do our fresco dining with a shelter right on top. Of course, when you have a penthouse, during rainy days, there will be rain coming from the front or the back portion. That is extremely normal, which is why all furnitures and finishings right here, they are all suitable for outdoor condition. You also have a two-seater jacuzzi here. Just check this out. And most importantly, your own cabana is at this corner. I want to bring your attention to this part 
because we're going to talk a bit about the pricing surrounding us and that is a very key component when you shop around for a penthouse to buy in D9 or D10. Now let's have a look at the entire landscape using the map. We are in the 45 degree diagonal to the top left hand corner of Great Wall and this is where Kepo Road is located. We're at the next lane at Jalan Mutiara. You are just about a two minutes walk from River Valley Road. Right across you, there's a very famous part of Zion Road. This is the teacher's network MOE. This is now still segregated as an e-zoning with a yellow color demarcation of the URA master plan. We believe that this is unlikely to change. On this left hand side, this is Spring Grove. Now Spring Grove is 25 years old right now. 99's development. If you want to get a three bedroom right there, the ongoing quantum is at about 2.3 to 2.5 million dollars for a 99's project that's currently 25 years. It has great maintenance in terms of its value. The per square foot right there is about 1,006, 1,007. This is Latitude. Latitude is a free old project just like Montana. This is currently ongoing at about 2,002 to 2,003 per square foot. If you want to get a three bedroom right there, these are all ongoing for about four and a half million dollars. If you go towards Cosmopolitan, a three bedroom right there will cost you anyway in the range of about three odd to high three million dollars if you are going for a four beta those are already inching towards the four or to five million dollar mark psf wise about two thousand four hundred dollars we move downwards towards trillium which is a bigger project three towers ongoing psf two thousand five hundred dollars three betas right now they are ongoing for about four point two million dollars in terms of asking price four bedrooms at about five point two million dollars for trillium we move downwards a little bit centennial suites three betas also freehold is already going at five point one to five point two million dollars in terms of its asking price Flip side of Great World City, you have Melrose Park, which is an older development. A three bedroom right there, currently is going at about three and a half million. And if you go to Valley Park, three bedroom is also at about three odd million dollars. So if I come back to this penthouse, freehold, 2,260 square feet, Current asking price is at $3.98 million. Per square foot is at about $1,760 odd dollars per square foot. If I draw that triangle that we have always been talking about, the trifactor triangle, your PSF is at a reasonable entry price, which is about 1,700 odd per square foot. Quantum price is below 4 mil, is at 3.9 million dollars, still negotiable. Size and layout, you have that duplex, freehold, kind of penthouse with 2,260 square feet. This is a huge combination and we think that this is a nice sweet spot for any buyers to enter, especially if you are looking for something that's very unique. The key reason is because when you buy a penthouse, it's also a great opportunity to buy something at a slightly lower per square foot compared to the usual layouts in the same development. So to give you a context right here, all the ongoing pricing transactions in the Montana is already doing at about $2,000 to $2,100 per square Foot as of 2021. This is currently asking for 1,700 odd dollars per square foot. When you buy a penthouse, you need to have this formula to calculate the per square foot entry price. So let me break it down for you. First level, 1,460 square feet estimated. Take that and multiply by the ongoing PSF, which is at about 2,000, 2,001. That will then bring you close to about the three million dollars mark. So take that roof terrace estimated size, which is at about 800 square feet. Multiply that also by the ongoing PSF doing in Montana at 2,201 per square foot. So that will then bring you to about 1.6 odd million dollars and then you half it because for roof terrace, based on bank valuations, valuers always look at the roof terrace having close to a 50% kind of valuation price of the normal ongoing PSF. So if I were to half it, that would then bring me to about 800 odd thousand dollars in terms of overall quantum. Add that back to level one, that would then bring us back to about 3.8 to 3.9 million dollars in total quantum. If I were to add in the the renovation being pumped into this place, which is at 450,000, it will easily bring me to about 4.2 million dollars. But if I were to subtract a depreciation factor for renovation, which is how we come to our asking price of 3.98 million dollars, this is now ongoing at a very decent entry price for any home buyers that want to own a freehold penthouse. So with that, let me bring you back to Jesley, who will show you more on the surrounding amenities and some of the schools right here. For facilities at Montana, you can find your infinity swimming pool, a barbecue area as well as the outdoor gym all on the first level for healthy living. For the nearby amenities, we are also 5 minute walks away from the Great World City as well as the Valley Point Shopping Centre where you can find plentiful of amenity service such as cold storage, supermarket, medical and dental clinics or even F&B choices. 
For educational institution, within 1 km, we have River Valley Primary, Alexandra Primary, Gan Eng Seng School, as well as ISS International School. Within 2 km, there is also a choices of popular schools like Crescent Girls School, Raffles Girls School, as well as Chatsworth International. For connectivity-wise, we are just 4 minutes drive away to the Orchard Shopping Belt, 10 minutes drive to CBD, Marina Bay Sand, as well as Vivo City and we're just 15 minutes drive away to Resort World Sentosa. Alright, so we've come to the end of this home tour. Thank you for staying with us. And if you want to have a look at this $3.98 million penthouse, 2,260 square feet in this duplex, then of course, when you buy a penthouse, this is a lander in the sky. Most importantly, this is freehold in District 10. If you'd like to arrange for a viewing, do contact our listing manager. The description is down below in the box. If you enjoy our content, do subscribe to our channel as well. My name is Jessly Lim. Melvin Lim. Property, Property Lim Brothers. Brothers. Always, Always happy to show you the place. place. <laughs> you can put your luggage on the top. Should you require any assistance, please feel free to do so. Things are well and seamlessly. Okay, I. Ha <laughs> <laughs>